Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I just couldn't figure out the best way to structure the video, but now I finally have. So this video will cover replica sabers, replica saber companies. Now I know a lot of you watching care more about replica sabers than custom sabers, you know, random custom designs that saber companies make. Some of you care more about custom sabers than replica sabers. I originally was the same way. My first Sabre was the Sabre Tro Vectra, which is not a replica Sabre. It's a custom Sabre, custom design. But now my, my focus on my collection is shifted more towards replica Sabres. Now, that's not to say that I don't like custom Sabres. It's just that my collection, the way that it's shaking out right now, is focusing more on replica Sabres. Now, a lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you have not a whole lot of experience with replica Sabre companies. You're more used to, you know, the companies that make the custom designs which is why that I feel like this video is going to be kind of important to get these names out there, these companies out there, uh, the recognition they deserve, because some of them do like incredible work. And a lot of you have never even heard of them before. So we're going to cover that in this video. This isn't sponsored by any company. This video is actually sponsored by me. So if you didn't know, if you haven't seen my YouTube community posts, if you haven't you know, seen the stream, if you haven't seen my Instagram stories and stuff, I release merch. It's hard to see because the mic is blocking it, but I release merch. I just recently put out my summer 2021 merch capsule. You can find that link in the description below and on my channel on the about section. They have a link and like on the header thing, they have like a little link to my merch store. Go check it out. There's a whole lot of stuff in there for everyone. Shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, coffee mugs, water bottles, iPhone cases, like all kinds of stuff, a whole bunch of random stuff. So uh, if you're interested in that, feel free to support. It uh, means a whole lot to me and thank you in advance for that. So this video will be in no particular order except for the first couple, uh, just because I tend to neglect on accident. I don't mean to do this on purpose. I tend to neglect my United Kingdom, my British viewers out there. Most of my content is focused more towards like United States type stuff. So I wanted to, you know, show some love to my UK homies out there. So this video is not sponsored by any company. Like I said, uh, this is supposed to be informational for my viewers because I know a lot of you are looking for replica sabers and you just can't figure out the best place to go to all that kind of stuff so uh, this is not please note this is not an all-encompassing list this is not every saber company that makes replica sabers there are way too many small shops and small vendors and like one-man operations that do that kind of stuff so I cannot cover all those people in one video I'm just going to stick to the ones that I know you can trust I know for a fact you can trust that I know make great products, that I know make highly accurate products, all that stuff. And at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about a few other ones. So there's going to be 10 main ones in the main part of this video. And then there's going to be a few others that I'm going to talk about after. So that being said, I don't want to see any, you know, complaining in the comments that I didn't cover, you know, John Smith Saber Armory or Billy Bob's replica props. There are way too many people like that out there that it's like one man operations that I've never heard of before, that most of you have never heard of before, that I have no idea how reputable they are. There's just way too many people out there like that. So I'm going to cover the people that I know for a fact you can trust and that I know for a fact that you'll be getting a great product from. Also note, there are a lot of companies out there that claim to make and design these hills themselves, which is 100% uh, not the case sometimes. Those companies will not be shown in this video for very obvious purposes. I'm not going to you know, show you the companies that are faking it. I'm going to show you the source and I'm going to show you like these actual legit companies and let them have their day in the sun because they, you know, the reselling business is not evil in and of itself, but it kind of sullies the original maker's recognition, which is not cool. So I'm going to try to give you the source and, and tell you where these sabers are actually coming from. Also, before we get started, this is being a last note. There are some companies that sell replicas that are awful companies. So those aren't even worth a mention in this video either. So they're going to be excluded as well. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know exactly some of the companies that I'm talking about. All right, so let's get started with the first one. Remember, this is in no particular order other than the first couple because those are UK-based stores. First one, start off with Seven Chambers. Now, they are known for extreme accuracy. And if you don't know that already, by now, me, I've already showed it, Seven Chambers Saber on this channel. They are known for extreme accuracy, and they currently hold a title for most accurate for their Antiflex V2 which is an Anakin Skywalker Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith replica. Their Mom of All Heroes, M-O-M, Magic of Myth of All Heroes, which is a Luke cave scene, the deleted cave scene hero prop replica. And that's in collaboration with Veracity Labs, which is really just uh, Adam Days of Verity Cosplay, Sean Patterson of SP Props and Sabres, Brian Rogers, and Lewis Petch from Seven Chambers. That's, that's who makes up 
Veracity Labs. The Voss, which is a Quinlan Voss replica, and the Ultimate SKIG, which is Star Killer's Crystal Chamber Saber from The Force Unleashed, and that's in collaboration with Phoenix Props and has been an improvement in terms of accuracy and quality since the first run of the Ultimate SK from Seven Chambers and Phoenix Props. And they'll very likely hold the title for most accurate for some of the upcoming unreleased projects that they have going on. They're definitely, definitely, definitely worth checking out if you're interested, especially if you like Thin Neck Sabers. Wink, wink. Uh, they have some projects on the horizon that are really, really cool and will be extremely accurate. And I guarantee you will hold the title for most accurate for at least two of the sabers that I know of that are coming. So that's seven chambers. Remember, I'm going to leave links in the description below to all of these saber companies. Feel free to check them out. A lot of them right now, keep in mind that because there's a global shortage of like every material, there are a lot of companies out there that don't have a lot of stuff in stock. But uh, yeah, definitely just check them out. Follow their Instagram, their, you know, Facebook, all these companies put out, you know, messages saying, you know, when they'll have stuff in stock and when their runs start, all that stuff. So definitely keep an eye on all these companies if you're interested in them. Next up is another UK based store. This is KR Sabres. If you don't know KR, Cal, he is a highly respected vendor in the UK and he not only does, you know, hilts, that's not exactly his main focus. His main focus is more on supplying parts for, you know, saber companies all across the world, you know profit boards and you know little parts and electronics and you know pins for neopixel sabers all kinds of stuff that's his main focus but he does do replica hilt runs sometimes he's done some incredible work for the saber community over the years and not only with his hilts but with his partner's hilts as well he collabs sometimes with partners and he does sell those on his store which is called the saber armory the kr replicas are their emperor which is a collaboration with one replicas their kr princess lo which is a Leia replica. It's currently sold out right now. Remember, keep in mind, a lot of Sabre companies have stuff sold out because of parts shortages across the world. A Graflex 3-cell flash gun replica, which is obviously a replica of the Skywalker lightsaber, the Graflex, as well as a TROS, the Rise of Skywalker Graflex conversion kit, which is to mimic the look of the Skywalker Graflex in Episode 9. The Crores Guard, yes, I said that correctly, not Cross Guard. The Crores Guard which is a Kylo cross guard, which is in collaboration with one replicas. And there are several others. Be on the lookout for his Rebels slash Mando Ahsoka kit, which will definitely be the best Ahsoka kit on the market once it releases again. I believe he originally released those in 2016 or so. And uh, when he when he re-releases those at some point in 2021, I guarantee you that they will be the best Ahsoka kit on the market. Also, the Ray Scavenger kit, the Ray Scavenger Saber, that's a collaboration with the great Denis Lukianov, who is known for his Ogdo Killer, which is the most accurate Fallen Order Saber, in collaboration with Denis Lukianov and Goth 3D. That Ray Scavenger hilt is absolutely bonkers. If you haven't seen it already, he showed some teasers on his Instagram at KR Sabers. It's incredible. That, that is by far the best Ray Scavenger, you know, end of episode nine hilt out there. It's absolutely amazing. So definitely check those out. The Mando Ahsoka, the Rebels slash Mando Ahsoka in the Ray Scavenger hilt on the horizon for 2021 from KR Sabres. KR does some great work. If you're not only interested in replicas or if you don't really care about replicas and you're just watching this video, KR also sells his flagship hilt, which is absolutely perfect for a custom build. If you want to, you know, weather, etch, powder coat, battle scar, do whatever to it. This is a relatively inexpensive high end custom hilt that's essentially like a blank canvas begging for customization i'm telling you there are so many things you can do to a kr flagship if you don't believe me go check out what pete's powder emporium i think he's known as bad batch etching carl danby of vaults of valhalla benji at nerf herder customs he has a flagship that he customized to be an orgas den replica style i mean it's inc it's incredible what you can do with these kr flagships definitely get you know the aluminum or the brass version if you want to do some powder coating some etching all that kind of stuff they have three different versions. It's incredible. I definitely recommend getting a flagship if you're interested in some kind of, you know, custom saber if you're in this community. All right, so next up is the Graflex Shop. Uh, if it's not blindingly obvious by the name of the store, the Graflex Shop focuses on Graflex replicas, you know, the Skywalker replica, the Graflex flash gun replica, a New Hope, ESB, 
all of it, in my opinion, and several others who are like sticklers for Graphlex accuracy, there are about three or four different places that you need to look for a very accurate Graphlex build. And that is the Graphlex shop for the main body, Wanawanga for certain accuracy mods, and maybe either Skywampa or Sloth Furnace for a few other little things, such as like a clamp card, because I know that Sloth Furnace focuses on clamp cards if you'd like you don't I mean you don't have to most of the Graphlex shop and Wanawanga stuff are pretty pretty accurate if you want to stick to those but I wanted to shout out Skywampa and Sloth Furnace because they do focus on uh Graphlex accuracy stuff as well so the Graphlex shop they are total Graphlex accuracy nuts so it should be the very first place that you check out if you are interested in a Graphlex uh, if you want you know one from a certain movie there are all kinds of mods you can do to it but in terms of the the main body the hilt uh, Graphlex Shop is absolutely the first place that you need to look. Just note that these are kits and they need to be assembled. They need to be put together and assembled. Uh, so some work needs to be done for, you know, an install. If you want it to get a certain way, these don't come fully assembled. And most people need to realize that when a Sabre company sells a kit, that does not mean it's fully assembled unless they specifically state it's fully assembled. A lot of people get really upset with replica Sabre companies because they say it's a kit and then they buy it and they have to put it together and they're mad. They are kits. They're not fully assembled. That's that's kind of what kit means. Just keep that in mind. In order to get like a Graphlex shop replica ready for an install, you got to do some modifications. You got to, you know, put it together, assemble it a little bit. But uh, it's not too difficult. There are definitely, you know, guides out there. People can show you how to do that kind of stuff. So the Graphlex shop, if you're looking for Graphlex replicas. Next up is Phoenix Props. Phoenix Props is another company that is known for like very detailed and very high quality work. And one that I tends to do some great collaborations. For example, they're in the process of doing the run for the Empress Regnant, which is in collaboration with Sean Patterson of SP Sabres. And it is very likely that that will be the most accurate and high quality dark ray hilt we've seen yet. I do believe KR may be working on a dark ray hilt. I'm not sure if that was also part of that collaboration or not, but I do remember him showing off one uh, at some point. They're also well known for their Spectre 6, which is obviously a callback to Ezra Bridger's first lightsaber, you know, the one that was a blue bladed lightsaber that also doubled as a blaster. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the way it looks, but it is quite a bit of a tricky install. As quoted by my friend Jeremy of Solo Sabres LLC, he does not like doing those because those are very, very tricky installs. They also have a very nice Ben Solo light side hilt, as well as other projects like a new dark saber upcoming, which I do believe is the one that Saber Bay is selling, but I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me. It just looked really similar. Phoenix Props is 100% worth a look if you're looking for some of those more like obscure and interesting replica props because there are a lot of companies that don't sell these certain types of hilts and Phoenix Props is absolutely selling those hilts and they do incredible work on those. So that is Phoenix Props. Now, what would a replica Saber Hilt company list video be without Roman Props? The man who provided a few of his hilts a few of the replica hilts to Disney and Lucasfilm for the filming of the sequels. I mean, as much as you hate Disney people, as much as you hate the sequels, that is an unbelievably high amount of praise that like the owner of the IP asked you to make replicas for them for the movies of the IP. I mean, that's, that's crazy. We'll move on. But that is a huge accomplishment. Roman props, very, very high quality. So just like KR Sabres, they're not only a saber replica saber hilt store they do have other interesting things such as like a thermal detonator which is really cool conversion kits other props and parts all kinds of stuff but some of their more popular hilts include the balance v4 which is a luke hero replica the inception elite which is an obi-wan thin neck replica their flash gun replica line which is probably their most you know popular line of roman props replica hilts the flash gun the Graflex replica, obviously. Their Steel V2 kits, the Luke Return of the Jedi V2 replicas. Their MPP, which is a Darth Vader replica, as well as some other various things they have going on in their store. They have some amazing, amazing replicas and very, very high quality. Roman Props, the Graflex shop, those are probably the top two companies in terms of Graflex replicas. There are other people out there that do Graflex replicas, and they are very good, but I do know that Roman Props and TGS have amazing Graflex replicas, and they are considered to be the most high quality, and they are very reputable stores as well. So definitely check out Roman Props, Graflex Shop, those two for your Graflex replica builds. Note that some of Roman Props replicas are listed as static, and some of them are listed as FX. 
Now, you need to understand the difference. Static are not really meant to be installed. FX are meant to be installed. Those static ones are like you need to do an unbelievable amount of work to get those to be installed. The FX ones can be installed fairly easily. I say fairly easily. I'm not an installer, but I do you know, talk to installers all the time. So FX, static, make sure you know what you're buying before you press purchase on Roman props. If you buy a static prop and you want to install it with Profi and NeoPixel or whatever, that is totally different than an FX Saber Hilt Kit. Next up is Solos Hold. Solos Hold is another highly recommended Saber company with great products in terms of replicas, although that does come with a pretty hefty cost increase. They're well known for several other replicas, including the Dark Star, which is a Dark Saber replica. Their Rogue Apprentice and Snips, which is the Clone Wars Ahsoka set. Their Cornhorn Elite, Cornhorn that kind of speaks for itself. Their Force Witch, which is an Massage Ventress set. Their Blind Knight, which is a Kanan Jarrus replica. Their Rebel Orphan, which is Ezra Bridger's second, the Green Bladed Lightsaber replica. A Luke V2 from Return of the Jedi and more. They are also kind of like the Saber Armory in that they do sell quite a fair amount of parts for replica Saber hilts and all that kind of stuff. So definitely feel free to check out Solo's Hold as well. They do make some incredible stuff. Next up is one that I've mentioned quite a few times on this channel, and I've mentioned this next statement I'm about to make quite a few times on this channel, and that is 89 Sabres. 89 Sabres is a bit of an interesting one to talk about because I 100% do not recommend buying directly from them. Now, does that mean that their products are bad? Absolutely not. I own several of their products. There are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people that, that own several of their products, and they are very nice. However, there have been several instances of their owner, you know, scamming people, cheating people out of their money, all that kind of stuff, but not when you buy from one of their vendors, one of their reputable vendors. If you try to buy directly from 89 Sabres, it's not going to be a good day. I mean, check out Saber Bay and Saber Mock. There are reputable vendors that sell 89 Sabres products, but do not buy directly from 89 Sabres. In terms of overall volume, 89 is probably one of the bigger replica makers if not the biggest replica saber maker out there and i do personally stand behind their products like i said i have owned several of them i just don't recommend buying directly from them I, if i haven't stressed that enough already they're well known for their fallen v1 and v2 which is a cal kestis replica i personally own one of those their graphlex it's what corbanth calls the graphlex of preem but it's actually just an 89 sabers graphlex i own one of those an npp vader darth vader replica obviously an obi-wan replica Qui-Gon replica, a Mace Windu replica, a Sidious replica, a Maul replica, and there's probably dozens of others. I'm not going to list every single replica they have because they have so many, but you can find a lot of these replicas on Saber Bay, on Saber Mock, and there are some uh, reliable vendors over there on Etsy, and they are very, very, like I'm talking about extremely commonly sold on the secondhand market, on like buying and selling groups on Facebook and all that kind of stuff. People are selling 89 Sabres all the time. 89 Sabres, they do have great products, but just remember, do not buy directly from them. Next up is Watto's Junkyard. This is one for my EU homies, not my UK homies, but my EU homies. Watto's is based in Germany, and they produce some very high-end replica Sabres, such as their Mr. Tyrannus, or Tyrannus, which is a Count Dooku replica. The Knight Sibling Staff, which is a Darth Maul Clone Wars Season 7 double-bladed sabers, and that's in collaboration with Lux Sabers. The Jedi Killer, which is in collaboration with Phoenix Props. The Knight Brother, which is a Savage Opress replica. It looks very nice. The Tuscan Slayer, which is an Anakin Episode 2 replica. The Regional Manager, which is a Darth Maul Episode 1 replica and more. They have all kinds of stuff. If it hasn't been made very blatantly obvious to you yet at this point in the video, a lot of Saber companies collaborate in order to make certain hilts, especially with replica hilts. And uh, Watto's is no exception. They do it a lot as well. And I could be wrong and someone can correct me on this, but I don't believe Watto's has a website currently. I've only been able to find their Facebook page, which is linked in the description below. But uh, someone can correct me on that. I just haven't been able to find a website for them. Now, next up, this wouldn't be a complete list without mentioning one of the OGs, the Custom Saber Shop or TCSS. Right now, most people probably look at TCSS for parts and for like bits and pieces to do custom MHS hilts, the modular hilt system hilts, but they also have been known in the past to sell replicas, such as the LS6 Gullwing, which is aka one of the most difficult hilts to install with NeoPixel. Uh, this is one that 
I'm sorry, but if you buy it, most installers will likely turn it down because it's such a difficult install for NeoPixel Sabers, and they do sell a mall replica, and they have done some others in the past. If you're interested in buying a Saber or, or parts to do a scratch build, TCSS, the custom Saber shop, is 100% where you need to look first. All the MHS builds that people do out there, they've done, people have done some incredible stuff. Shout out to Nerf Herder Customs, Benji's done some incredible MHS work and stuff. Fitting together little parts and pieces from, you know, different builds and building it with MHS. They, people can do some incredible stuff with MHS. So in terms of replicas, they, they're fairly limited, but this would not be a complete list without mentioning one of the OGs in the custom Saber shop. So next up, uh, finally an entry that caters to the budget-oriented Saber enthusiast. I've mentioned the POC store many times in the past, and I do own two Sabers from them, so I do believe I can speak personally on this topic. Many of you that watch the channel can't afford to dish out $300, $400, $500 plus dollars for an empty replica hilt and then have it installed by a custom installer and all that stuff. Trust me, I get it. Uh, I've been there. I never thought I'd spend this much money on lightsabers before, but you know, here I am. This is not a cheap hobby and it absolutely should never ever be thought of as one. This is an expensive hobby, but there are more budget oriented options out there for replica saber hilts as compared to the ones that I've listed in this video already. And uh, just at the cost of accuracy and overall quality in terms of a replica. Pock store sells replicas that are from the Ultimate Works line of replicas, and they are great for the price. I do believe that. Those include the RVS and the RVJ, which are Revan replicas, the OB4, which is an OB1 replica, the VZ, which is a Vinzalo replica, the FST, which is a Kit Fisto replica, the SS Sister, which is a second sister replica, which looks absolutely amazing, the SO Brother, which is a Savage Opress replica. Shout out to my boy Darth Raven's Blades. He has one of those. A Luke Hero V1, which is a Return of the Jedi Hero replica, as well as a lot of others. They and 89 Sabers probably have by far the most replica saber hilt designs on their store. Uh, Pock sells most of these with three to four different options. They sell them as empty, pre-kit, which is essentially an empty, but it's like install ready for the removable electronics cores. They sell Profi NeoPixel and Asterio NeoPixel options as well. Pock also sells a bunch of inexpensive non-replica sabers like RGB in-hilt sabers to cater to people on a budget as well. Their customer service is a little hit or miss. In my opinion, you know, in my experience, Darth Paradigm, the Illuminated Blades, his experience, Darth Raven's Blades, his experience, and a lot of other people's, a lot of people, it's just been a little hit or miss. Their products are definitely nice for the price, and they do provide a nice little spot in between super high-end replicas and low-end replicas, pricing in terms of pricing and quality, while maintaining a decent to good level of accuracy for those replicas. So, Pock Store, Ultimate Works line, they do have a ton of options out there for the budget-oriented Saber enthusiast. So those were 10 right there that you should absolutely check out. Now for a few that I don't want to call it honorable mentions because that implies that they're worse than the ones that I mentioned, but ones that I just need to mention for some reason or another. These are ones that either they didn't make the list in terms of accuracy, value, price, or notoriety, but still have great or good options for different hilts or you know, just some that I need to mention for some reason. First up is Vader's Vault. Uh, they're known mainly for their high-end customs, but they do sell a few replicas on their site, such as the Luke Hero, Star Killer, and a few others. I do believe they have a Rebels Ahsoka set, a bunch of sets. Just know that their prices are extremely high for their replicas, and they aren't even entirely accurate, hence why they didn't even make it in the top 10 of this video. I didn't want to make it a ranking, but, you know, for the price and for what you get for accuracy, it's just not really in the same league as some of the others in this video. So next up is LGT slash TXQ, all those Sabre companies. Some of you may consider me listing them in this video as sacrilege or blasphemy, but they're absolutely worth a mention. Uh, there are many, you know, elitists out there that wouldn't give LGT or the like, you know, the time of day because of the inaccuracies on their replica Sabre line, but they definitely do serve a purpose in this hobby and in this community, and they are catering to those who cannot afford the high-end stuff, just like what the POC store and Ultimate Works is doing. As I said, their accuracy for the most part, for most of the replicas, is probably below like a 5 out of 10 in terms of accuracy, but there are a lot of people out there that like genuinely do not care about that kind of stuff, so I'm still going to mention it regardless. These are sold through, you know, AliExpress, which is like their main store, and trusted vendors such as Dark Wolf, Crimson Dawn, Padawan Outpost, Vire Sabers, a bunch of people, a bunch of Saber companies that I've mentioned on this channel in the past. So LGT, 
in terms of accuracy, they're just really not there yet. But in terms of, you know, pricing for people that don't care about the accuracy that much, them and Box Store and Ultimate Works are definitely worth a look if you can't afford that high end stuff. Next up is one that I got to mention because there are kind of like I mentioned with the Custom Saber Shop, they are an OG and that is LDM Custom Sabers. They're an older company as compared to the rest on this video, but they are still great quality nonetheless. LDM has, you know, several replica hilt options such as a Bastila Sean replica, a Luke Hero replica, an MPP Vader replica, a Luke V2 replica, a DV6 Vader replica, a Katarn. LDM has partnered with Corbanth on several occasions to bring sabers to the market at large. So now that I mentioned Corbanth, let's talk about Corbanth for a second because many of you have probably made it to this part in the video if you're actually still watching and you're wondering where Corbanth was. So if you don't know, Corbanth is actually a reseller and a vendor not a Sabre manufacturer. Their installs are also outsourced and their blades are from LGT. The large, the very large majority of the Sabres in their store were designed or created by other companies, such as 89 Sabres, KR Sabres, One Replicas, LDM Custom Sabres, Dennis Lukianov, and Elf Sabres, which is where many, many of the current selection of Sabres that Corbeth is selling comes from. And there are more, there are more companies out there. Corbanth isn't the maker, but rather the seller, the vendor. These same exact sabers, these same exact replica hilts can be found elsewhere, usually for cheaper, and on Saber Bay and the source companies as well. And I personally have had a, a few very negative experiences with Corbanth, as well as knowing certain things in the past that they've done that, you know, were incredibly distasteful. So I can't exactly recommend choosing them over some of the other reliable vendors of the same product. So, you know, the 89 Sabres, the KR Sabres, I can't recommend buying it from Corbanth when, you know, they have other very nice companies selling the exact same thing and usually for cheaper than what Corbanth selling it. And I cannot also recommend their installed versions of hilts. Their install quality is just really not up to par with custom installs and what other companies are doing with those same hilts. So I just had to put that out there. Corbanth, you know, they're just things that they do and it kind of, you know, gets on my nerves and I have had, you know, negative experiences and I do know some stuff about Corbanth that is just really not cool that they've done in the past and are continuing to do. So, you know, I just can't exactly recommend their buying the replica, the empty hilts from them unless literally no one else is selling it. And in that case, that means it's probably they're buying it from a Chinese manufacturing company and they're just getting an exclusive deal on it. But for the most part, they're not exclusive deals and you can buy them elsewhere. Saber Bay, Saber Mach for 89 Sabres, KR Sabres, you can just buy it directly from KR Sabres. I mean, all kinds of stuff. So I just had to put that out there. I've been holding my tongue on that for a while, but it's just something that I really, really had to mention at some point and uh, I'm doing that now. And last one, Galaxy's Edge slash Hasbro slash Black Series, whatever they call it now, straight up the replicas suck. You can't be the owner of the IP and have inaccurate replicas that is genuinely dumb. No further comment. That's all I have to say on that, it's genuinely dumb. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. That's, that's what the point of this video is anyway, that you learn something, you learn about a new company, you learn about what certain companies offer, all that kind of stuff. Maybe I taught you something about a certain company that you didn't know. So I hope you learned something. I hope you take something from this video. I hope you find something that you like in this video. I hope you find a new company that you like. Maybe you finally find the replica of your dreams, something like that. That was the point of this video in the first place. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe. If you haven't already, leave a comment down below if I taught you something new, if I introduced you to a new company, if I taught you something new about a company, anything like that. Thank you all so much for watching and may the force be with you.